Hi everyone. So you probably know I've been using APT for ages. Uh, love it. Really good program. Cheap. Does everything it says on the tin. It really is the Swiss Army knife of uh, astrophotography, especially with the DSLR. So why would I change to SGP? Well, here's the deal. I've been lent a very nice camera, QSI 6120. Um, it's a monochrome camera with filters. And uh, yeah, APT doesn't work quite so well, at least in my experience, with that kind of setup. So I already had a license of SGP and uh, always found it a little bit too complicated. But now I've got a complicated camera setup to try out. Let's try and see if we can get it right. So actually there are plenty of videos out that there are some really good tutorials on how to use SGP. So I'm not going to bother to do all of that again. Um, I just wanted to f tell you about one particular killer feature which quite honestly blew me away and that's the ability to, to modify stuff in the sequence while you're actually taking photographs, something that APT struggles with. You've normally got to stop, make your adjustments and then restart. Anyway, enough of me talking, let's switch over to actually showing you what it looks like on the screen and how this killer feature works. So here I am recording M61, a single frame, 10 minutes, uh, it's got a supernova in there, SN2020 JFO, and uh, I've got the sequence currently running, recording on the blue filter, it's 10 minute exposures, one time one bin in, four exposures on each of them. So I only actually have one target, and uh, yeah, that's going to finish in an hour and 46. So I'd quite like to add in an extra target. So I type Control and M. And what I'm going to go after is the Eagle Nebula. Uh, that comes up pretty low in my garden. It's just between the fence and the shed. So I've only got a certain time to get to it. Um, and I need to start it probably about half one in the morning, something like that. So I select it out of the list because this is what I've already searched for in the past. And uh, 1.5 degrees isn't really great. So let's just change that uh, two degrees would be better. Okay, now we can see it a bit better. So I will just drag a frame onto the screen. And uh, the angle it's showing there is because it's worked out the orientation of the sensor in relation to the sky. Draw a rectangle and position it over. And that's the image that the sensor will take when it's um, plate solved. Create the sequence. And we're going to append it rather than replace it. Sequence. Slew and center. I don't want it to rotate because I don't have a rotator. I want to associate that image. Okay. Right, so what is done now in the sequence is added in M16. If I click on that one, what you'll see is nothing's populated at the moment. But I can right click and I can copy all the events from M61. So now what it's done is put them all to active. Light frames, <coughs> luminous blue, green, red, 600 seconds, bin in, four exposures each. So that means I'm pretty much set up with the sequence. And all at the same time, while I'm already taking an image, event 2, frame 2, 600 seconds. And if I hover over this, what you get is these little gear wheels. If I click on that one, then it brings up, um, it shows me where it is, and it's got a slew and center to the location. And it'll, it'll basically match it up with the image that you saw underneath. 
but I can also look at the planning tools because as I said M6 M16 for me the Eagle Nebula is pretty low down so I want to get it I've set this to 20 degrees I can maybe go down a degree let's just take that down one that should be okay because I know even though I've set this as my horizon I've got a hedge in the back garden and it will does clear it it's just quite low in the sky okay so now what we see is start at 147 finish at 311 sounds good actually let me just go back to that so 147 to 311 247 so I've got about an hour and a half on it yeah so and this is showing I'm gonna get two hours 40 so maybe I should just drop it down to two and I got an hour and 20 that should be okay I think I should just about get that in so what I could actually say there instead instead of finishing at 311 let's just let it finish whenever by not ticking that no time constraint okay you'll notice the little asterisk that means that this is my sequence and it's not saved so I'll just save it directly and now so that fi that target will finish you can see it's got these to do and then it will move on because this one's ticked it'll move on to M16 do all four of those but not starting until uh, whatever time it was 1.47 in the morning there we go how cool is that one last thing before we go will I be dumping APT altogether? no way um, I've paid next year's instalment and for DSLR work I still think it's a very easy setup so what I'm thinking is that I will have for my second rig um, APT with the DSLR my Canon DSLR that works a treat, know how to use it, really simple and then for the more complicated mono imaging that I'm, I'm doing at the moment um, I'm going to stick with SGP uh, yeah that's my plan, there we go